our guests, you're more than welcome. So many people, hundreds call and want to know how much it costs. It costs your life. You never have to pay nothing to come see us. The word of God is preached free. The Apostle Peter said, let me freely speak unto you. Son of the Patriarch David. So we preach the word of God free. And the reason why it's free, because God want to get everybody a fair chance. He's a fair God. And now I know the toughness of the Bible. Some of us think God is not fair. And sometimes life don't seem fair. That's the way Israel was towards God. Yet ye say, Listen at this. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 25. Follow me in the Bible. Yet ye say the way of Yet the Lord. Yet ye say God's way. Is not equal. Is not fair. Hear now, O house of Israel. Hear now, O Israel. Is not my way equal? God said, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? The problem is not God. Right. Is God the problem? No way. What's the problem? Who's the problem? I'm going. We are the problem. Whenever God tells us something, we have our own opinions about it. Our own idea. I talk to thousands of people. Many people I talk to, I tell them, well, the Bible says, and they say, I know, but, but nothing. Whatever God says, that's that. Now, therefore, Lord, I will speak. Oh, you're really ready this morning, aren't you? Second Esther chapter 8 <laughs> and verse 15. I was somewhere, and it was the first time somebody got up and testified and said they call Williams the Google of the Bible. Amen. Yeah, man. What I must admit, when God does something, he do it well, don't he? Oh, yes. Listen at this. Second Esther chapter 8 and verse 15. What is that? Now, therefore, Lord. Now, therefore, Lord. I will speak. I will speak. Touching man in general. Touching man in general. Thou knowest best. God know what's best for you. Better than you know what's best for yourself. That's right. So God's way, it is hard for many of us to adjust to God's way because he think different from we do. Right. He told us, well, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Not your thoughts. His ways are different from ours. His ways, perfect. Infallible, flawless. Our ways, imperfect, messed up. We, gotta, we make a decision, then got to come back and straighten that decision out. But when God make a decision, it's perfect. Even if he destroy you. Are right, you listening to the old man? It's perfect. If he take away from you everything he gave you, perfect to him. Did not the scripture says the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Then it says blessed. Blessed. He called it a blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord's name. Right. Now, of course, you and I wouldn't feel that way. Right. One scripture says we glory in tribulation. Who feel like doing that? So when God brings something, it challenges our faith. Challenge our belief in him. See, we got so many more folk coming in. All right, there's you that have pocketbooks and things and chairs. We're going to ask you to move them. And there's some empty chairs in here, brother. There's some scattered around somewhere. You 
you see them, there's some back up against the wall, there's some sitting right there. So you us just kind of look between the aisles. There's several empty spaces. Let them slide on in there or slide down. You to have coats and robes and bedroom slippers and all that stuff in the chair. You get that stuff out and make some room. Even if you have to put some more chairs in the pulpit for some brothers, they can come on up here. It's more hotter up here than it is out there. Amen. All right, let's go to work in the book of Jude. I want everybody to follow me and hear me. Bear in mind, during the International Holy Convocation in August, Saturday service, of course, will start at 4 o'clock. But at 3 o'clock, there will be a mandatory church business meeting. We want to reiterate some things that we mentioned during the youth conference. And, of course, many didn't get a chance to make the youth conference, even though we had a few thousand there. But many will be in the international convocation want to discuss with the church the importance of the expansion of the work of God that's going on now. There are so many hungry souls out here until we just don't have time for foolishness and laziness. There's a lot of work to be done. And I'm able to say like the Apostle Paul, it is written, he said all the cares of the churches was upon him. I can not only read it, I feel it. That's right. Hey Amen. There's no maybe so about it. If I was a local minister, it wouldn't be so bad. But because the pool, the international pool, is so great and so strong, and it's all because of God. You bear in mind, we don't get the credit. God do. And if I didn't love the soul of people, if I didn't love them, if I liked you, I wouldn't come see you. I want to say, well, yeah, if I like you, I wouldn't come see you. No. It has to be something that's greater than like. Oh, yeah. Bible said God so loved the world. He didn't like nobody. No. In fact, I don't read in the Bible where God ever liked anybody. No. He said, Jacob, I love and Esau, I hate, and there's nothing in between that. Right. Some people say, Pastor Jennings, <coughs> I like you. I remember one preacher said, you know, I like you. You, you do a good job. I said, I don't like you at all. <laughs> he I caught him off guard. I said, I love you. He said, but you don't know me. I said, the Bible didn't tell me I have to know you to love you. The Bible just tell me to love you. That kind of love is the love of Christ. The Bible says, love your enemy. Well, you know, there's more lost that's going to be saved. That scripture alone is going to keep people out of the kingdom of God. I want everybody to follow me closely in the Bible now. In the book I of want Jude. to talk about the faith of the Lord Jesus. Listen at this. Jude chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, mm -hmm. to them that are sanctified by God the Father. Yes. And preserved Jude, the servant of Jesus the Christ. The minister of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Brother of James. To them they never said that this Jude was an apostle. I'm going. A lot of men call Jude an apostle. Right. But the Bible just call him what? The servant of Jesus Christ. Servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. And James' brother. That's right. Like Philemon, the book of Philemon. The Bible never said Philemon was an apostle. No. I want to say, but I thought the apostles did the writing. The Holy Ghost did the speaking, and men whom God selected did the writing. Like the book of Romans. It is written, 
In the last chapter, I believe, in uh, verse 20, I believe, or verse 22. Romans chapter 16 and verse 22. Says what? I, Tertullius. I, Tertullius. Who wrote this epistle. Who wrote this epistle. Salute you in the Lord. Paul was the preacher, but Tertullius was the scribe. That's right. He wrote the book of Romans, not Paul. Right. Paul preached it by God's permission. That's right. Like there are many things that the prophet Jeremiah said but if you read the book of Jeremiah, there was a scribe that worked along with him named Berich. And Berich did a lot of writing. All right, follow me. I want to take it apart as I go. Listen good now. Jude chapter 1 and verse 1. All right. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Yes. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Wait. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. And preserved. And they are preserved. And preserved in Jesus Christ. All that. And, you know, every time the Bible says God, and then it says, and Jesus Christ, internet blow up. Yeah. Because right then they start talking about conjunction. Conjunction, junction. What's that function? That's right. They try to separate Jesus from God and make Jesus a separate entity. That's right. The thing that separated Jesus from God was when Jesus was here in the flesh. Right. His flesh was one nature, human, and God, other nature, was divine. That's right. But you only have one Lord. Right. And when he rose from the dead, Thomas addressed Jesus and said, my Lord. My Lord and, and my God. My God. And my God. I remember I brought that to one preacher. He said the reason why Thomas said that is the same thing that if you say something and it startled me so bad, and then I say to you, My Lord and my God. What? That's foolish talk, Pastor. Jesus Christ is Lord and God. That's right. And Thomas answered. Listen. In the book of St. John, chapter 20 and verse 28. Thomas answered. And said unto him. What? My Lord. My Lord. And my God. And what? Jesus said unto Jesus him. Jesus said to him. Thomas, because thou hast seen me. Thomas, because you were so shocked and taken over by my resurrection. Thomas, because thou hast seen me. Thomas, because you've seen me. Thou hast believed. You, you got faith now. Blessed are they that have not Blessed seen. Blessed are they that have not seen. And yet have believed. The reason why he revealed himself to Thomas, because he could not send no apostle out who would not fully represent him right. That's right. Amen. <laughs> All of the apostles, hear me good, had the same thing. Oh, yes. And when Jesus sent them out, he sent them all out with the same message, same doctrine, same standard. Because they all was born in the same church. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Go back to the book of Jude. Now, let's take that apart. Back in Jude 1 and verse 1. Follow me. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Yes. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Hold it. Hmm. Sanctified. Sanctified. When you're sanctified, you're set apart. God set you aside for him. That's right. You that are here, are you sanctified this afternoon? Sanctified. Think before you answer me. Glory to God. That's right. Are you sanctified? That's right. You that are watching, are you sanctified? That's Someone right. said, I'm holy. But are you sanctified? For this is but the I got of the God. Holy Ghost. That's nice. But are you sanctified? That's right. When you are sanctified, and you that don't know what sanctification is, I often liken it to when you do laundry. Mm -hmm. When you do laundry, you sanctify your white clothes from your colors. Mm -hmm. You don't wash them all together. That's right. You set your white clothes, you separate your white clothes from your color clothes. When you sanctify, you're separated unto God. That's right. And many people want to claim to be Christians without sanctification. 
For this is the will of God. Listen. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. This is God's will. Even your sanctification. Even your sanctification. That ye should abstain from fornication. Oh. Hmm. Now, if I'm sanctified, that means I have consented or I have agreed to abstain. Abstain from fornication. From those things that God. God is against. That every one of you should know how. That every one of you should know how. To possess his to vessel. To possess his body. In sanctification and honor. In sanctification. And honor. And honor. Okay. So when you sanctify, you have agreed no more smoking. Hmm. Don't right. get many amens Don't on get many amens. <laughs> You have agreed, no more cussing. That's right. Amen. That's right. You have agreed, right. no more beer drinking. Amen. Yeah, I'm not only stepping on some folk's feet, I'm amputating leg from thigh down. That's right. You have agreed, no more gambling. You have agreed Amen. no more cheating on your taxes. That's right. Amen. Amen. You have agreed no more swindling. That's right. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. For this is the will of God. You have agreed no more cussing out the scriptures. Mm. Amen. Amen. You have agreed not to be hateful. That's right. You have agreed not to be backbiting. Mm. You have agreed not to think no evil. That's right. You have agreed not to work ill against your neighbor. That's right. You have agreed not to assume anything about anybody. That's right. No one said, how does that come under that? Because the Bible said we speak that which we do know. No. That's right. So how many, hear me good, <laughs> That's right. have agreed to be sanctified? sanctified? A lot of us say we want to be holy. But many of us don't agree to sanctification. sanctification. Or many of us don't know how to be sanctified. That's right. Sanctification is a gradual process of self-separation. Notice what I said. Sanctification is a gradual process of self-separation. That's right. You have to separate self from self. Yeah. Are you listening? That's right. That's why God always condemns how we think. Yeah. You know, a lot of folk want to push their thoughts on you. I feel like this. I feel like that. And I often tell people, God don't care how you think. No. God said, let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus, who been in a form of God thought of not robbery to be equal with God. That's right. And if you're equal with God, you have to be God. Oh, yes. Because God says, who is my equal, my equal. saith the Holy One? That's right. Get this. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. Give chapter and verse again. First Thessalonians chapter 4, now I'm at verse 2. Says what? For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. You know what orders That's right. we gave you. By the Lord Jesus. By the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God. Glory to God. Amen. This is God's will. Even your sanctification. Even your sanctification. That you should abstain from fornication. That you abstain from fornication. That every one of you should know how Everyone to possess his vessel. Everyone should know how to do what? Possess his vessel. How to contain themselves. In sanctification. In sanctification and honor. 
And how to honor that temple while you're sanctified. Not in the lust of concupiscence. What? Not in the lust of concupiscence. Not in the desires of extreme flesh. Even, want. That's right. Even. As the Gentiles which know not God. So if you agree to be sanctified, mm. when you go back out, take your cigarettes out your armrest. Get ready your 22 in your glove compartment. Because the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. Not carnal. But it's mighty through God pulling down the stronghold. That's right. You agree to be sanctified? Get rid of your weed and stop trying to hide under your so called municipal purposes. That's right. If I'm not sanctified, I will be lost. Oh, yes. If you're sanctified, you will be here with one mind. That's right. Not thinking about him, not thinking about her, not thinking about them. Who cares? Who cares? When you are greeted, and that's what keeps us from being sanctified, is us. That's right. That's why many of God's people today, the Bible talks about, before the coming of the Lord, there must first be a great falling away. Falling away. Great falling away. And God knows how the devil is snatching their minds. That's it. Snatching their heart, meaning their desire that they had towards God, that's dwindling down. That's right. The mind that they had years ago towards God, they don't have that mind no more. Amen. Because, give me the book of Mark, the Mark. lust. Yes. Of other things had entered in. entered in. And when it entered in, it affected the word that was in us. That's right. Listen at this now. Mark chapter 4, we'll start at verse 13. Get your Bible and follow me. And he said unto them, Know you not this parable? Do you not know this parable? And how then will you know all parables? How will you know all parables? The sower soweth the, the word. The planter. That's it. Plant the word. That's what we're doing to you now. That's right. Planting. We are planting scriptures. That's right. Now, if the scripture don't take root in you, you have no one to blame but you. Yeah. But I am a Bible planter. That's right. My job is to plant scripture because the word is the seed. That's right. The seed is the word, and the preacher's job is to plant that word and fertile ground. That's right. Listen, good. For behold, I sow my law in you. I do you hear this? Second Esther chapter 9 and at verse 31. Look. For behold. Behold, I sow I my plant law, my law in you, in you, and it shall bring fruit in you. What God law will do, it shall bring fruit in you. Oh, that, oh, that. I'm going to Galatia. Give me the book of Galatia, because I gotta balance out the Old Testament with the new. With the new. If it'll bring fruit in you, let's see what fruit will grow upon the body of the church. In Galatians chapter 5 and at verse 22. That's what? But the fruit of the Spirit is love. You know, fruit is the result of planting. That's right. The Bible said, love worketh no ill. That's right. To his neighbor. To his neighbor. The word of God says what? But the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of God. Is love. You know, they always say, I'm not loving That's because of the way I sound. That's right. They say, that man don't have no love. Mm -hmm. huh. I'm pretty sure they didn't think Jesus loved them either <laughs> when he beat them and drove them out that temple and turned over the tables of the money exchange. That's right. Love. Love. It's not always a sweet sound. You that think it is, you don't know what love is. That's right. Love says, mm -hmm. depart from me. That's right. The workers of iniquity. Love's going to say that. Love's going to say it. I'm going to say, wait a minute, Pastor Genesis. Jesus going to say that. The Bible says God is love. God is love. 
And when you haven't followed his instructions, he's going to say, depart, depart from, me, from me, ye workers of iniquity. iniquity. But it won't change the fact he's still loving. God is love. Glory to God. That's right. That's why many can't stand me. They say I'm the most meanest man they ever met. Wow, gosh. That's right. And many fellows, though, that I should concern myself with how they feel, and I do not. You do not. My interest is how do God feel. That's it. And I often say, if you have God's approval, that's the best approval you can get. That's right. God's approval carry more weight than the approval of, the, of friends, of family, of husband or wife. I'd rather have God's approval than anybody's. That's right. Because I'm safe. Yeah. If I have your approval, well, it may not last because you may change up on me. That's right. Hear me good now. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Yes. Joy. What? Joy. Ah. Joy. joy. It didn't say you're going to be joyful all the time. No. But what joy that you get from the word of God is good to have. That's right. Many times I get joy from the book. Amen. Sometimes I, I'm joyful while it's hurting me. <laughs> because the scripture sounds so good, it makes me smile. And, and I see this hammer going across my head and I'm smiling because the scripture sounds good. That's right. Don't feel good, but it sounds good. It sounds good. Hear me good? But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Love. Joy. Joy. Peace. What? Peace. I'd rather have peace than have wealth. That's right. You know, there come a certain time in your life you understand the value of peace. peace. You want to rid yourself from all confusion and right. all drama. That's right. And those who are about drama, you want to get away from them. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Peace. Amen. That's right. Give me a peace of mind. Hallelujah. And serve God with that peace of mind. That's right. You know, some folks say, well, I'm not going to have so, no peace, so you ain't going to have none. That's your business. That's your business. Hey Amen. I'm going to make sure I have peace between me and my God. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? Peace. Peace. Long-suffering. What? Long-suffering. Tolerant. Oh, yes. Long-suffering. 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 How long? And some say, well, how long do I got to suffer? Don't ask me. That's right. Oh, don't ask me at all. That's right. But these are the fruits of the Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit. And when it says long suffering, the purpose of long suffering is that you may develop patience. That's right. We want God to be patient with us. Yes. But we don't want to be patient with brothers and sisters whom we say we love. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Glory to God. Long suffering. What? Long suffering. Long suffering. Long suffering. What else? Gentleness. Be kind. Amen. Gentle. Be kind. Be kind. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Be good. Faith. Believe. Meekness. Be humble. Temperance. Be have self control. Against, Against su such there is no law. So if the law is in you, you will have the fruit of God. For behold, I sow my law in you. I sow my law in you. And it shall bring Lord, fruit in God you. God and it shall bring forth fruit. And ye shall be honored in it forever. Hallelujah. If you are without the fruits of God, then God's law have not yet been planted in you. No. Did you hear me? That's right. I don't care how long you've been coming to church, jumping and shouting, but if you don't have the fruit of God, right. you may not have it all at one time because when a seed is planted, it don't jump up to a tree. No. It has to come up gradually. That's right. An apple tree don't just 
spring out apples overnight. No. They have to endure the hardness of weather. That's right. The heat of the sun. Yeah. The frost of the cold. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God they have to go through something. That's right. Then the husband man come out and check the orchard. Examining every tree on the property. Looking them over. That's right. Take the fruit, cut it. See how good it is and look at others and see how it's flawed. That's right. Many of us is trying to figure out what fruits others have. Mind your own tree. That's right. That's right. You worry about what fruit someone else have, what fruit you don't have. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Holy Ghost said. Either makes a tree good. What? Either make the tree good. Do you hear this? Now in St. Matthew 12 and verse 33. Either make the tree good. Make the tree good. And his fruit good. And his fruit good. Or else make the tree corrupt. Or make the tree corrupt. And his fruit corrupt. And his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known. The tree is known. By his fruit. By what it produces. That's right. All these fellows that fight the truth of God, just look at the fruit they have. Look at the fruit. Amen. Just see how there's nothing there. Not even a good fruit bowl. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. 10, 20, 30, 40 years, yelling, hollering. The Bible speaks plain. Either make the tree good you and either make the good. tree good. And it's fruit good. And the fruit good. Or else make the tree corrupt. Or make the tree no good. And it's fruit corrupt. And what it produces no good. For the tree is known. The tree is known. By his fruit. Known by God have given us orchards. Yes, he has. Growing in Australia. That's right. New Zealand. Yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. Haiti. Yeah. Jamaica. Throughout that, all the islands of the Caribbean, That's right. Africa, Amen. United Arab Emirates, Amen. Dubai, yeah. Cuba, That's right. Puerto Rico, hallelujah, Canada, hallelujah. all across America. The Holy Ghost speak plain here. For the tree is known. The tree is known. By his fruit. Are you listening? That's right. You do this thing like God commanded forth to be done, yeah. you will get the results that God promised. You shall know them by their fruit. You shall know them by their fruit. If the preacher is confused, rest assure you his followers is just as confused. That's right. If the blind lead, lead the blind. Both. Just one fall in the ditch? Both. Who falls in the ditch? Both. Who does it? Both. Both. One scripture says, like people, like priests. Like priests. All right, let's go back to Jude. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Back in Jude chapter 1 and at verse 1. Here we go. Verse 1. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, uh -huh. to them that are sanctified by God the Father. To them that are sanctified by God the Father and, and, preserved, and preserved in Jesus Christ. Hold it right there. The Spirit sanctifies yeah. and Jesus preserves. Preserve us. What you mean he preserves us? When God was here in the flesh, he preserved us through teaching. That's right. Right then, that scripture tell you that Jesus is the comforter. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost preserves you. That's right. You know, any woman that know anything about preserves, when I came up, my mother would make a jar of preserves. You know, she'd get that fruit and whatnot and prepared, and uh, she'd put it in jars. That way, it's preserved for a period of time. Then time go by, she pulled that preserve out, or she want to make an apple pie, or 
speech cobbler or whatever, but it's kept for a while. While I was with them in the world, Jesus said, in St. John chapter 17 and verse 12, while I was with them in the world, I kept I them preserved them in thy name. I told you. That's right. I preserved them how? In thy name. I kept them how? In thy name. The name of Jesus Christ will keep you. Now hold it. Not only Jesus Christ is God's name, but Jesus Christ is the function of God or the work of God or the deeds of God or the performance of God. That's right. For he declared I done what? While I was with them in the While world. While I was with you. I kept them. I kept them. In thy name. In thy name. I kept them in order that, through teaching. That's, that's right. Those that thou gavest me. Those which you gave me. I have kept. Amen. Is here there, when, Je yeah, when Jesus wonderful. was here, the Holy Ghost wasn't in them. That's right. It was walking among them. Yeah. When Jesus was here, the Holy Ghost wasn't on the inside of them. That's right. No. In fact, they didn't need it in them. No. Because it was walking among them. That's right. Do you hear this? While I was with them. While I was here with you. In the world. In the world. I Who? kept them. I. I kept them. Don't you hear the Bible say you're kept by the power of God. That's right. And the power of God was embodied in flesh. That's right. I kept them. In thy name. In thy name. Those that thou gavest me. Those that you gave me. I have kept. I kept. And none of them. None of them. Is lost. Is lost. But the son of perdition. Hallelujah. Only one is lost is the son of perdition. That's right. That's right. That lets you know God will keep you. If you want to be kept, glory to God. Hallelujah. If you want it, I know sometimes you get to a point in God, you feel like God is nowhere around. You get down there praying. You don't feel like your prayers being heard. Pray, hallelujah. Feel like your prayers are not being answered. Hallelujah. Thou will keep him. The word of God says. Now in Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. That's what? Thou will keep him. Thou will keep him. In perfect peace. In perfect peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you hear this? You know, there's peace. But then there's perfect peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you getting me? There's peace. And then there's perfect peace. Some of us have peace in spurts. Peace sometime. Peace sometime. Peace sometime. It's incomplete. But then the word of God come back and said, Thou will keep him give, in give perfect peace. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. That's what? Thou will keep him. Thou <laughs> will keep him in perfect peace. In perfect peace. Whose mind. Whose what? Whose mind. Whose what? Whose mind. What do God want? Who stayed on to? What do God want your mind? That's a Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what God wants. God wants your mind. Why are you looking for God to do something and your mind is somewhere else? Even while the word of God is falling, you can't get nothing out of it when your mind is somewhere else. Bring your mind on back. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bring your mind back. I will keep him. Ask God to keep you. In perfect peace. Give me perfect peace. Who's mine? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's mine? Whose mind is stayed on thee? Oh, I thank God. It's stayed there. Stayed on thee. Hallelujah. 
If you tarry and follow the Holy Ghost, yeah. ask God to give you a perfect mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will keep him. He said he'll keep him. In perfect peace. Nobody can keep you like the Holy Ghost can. Hallelujah. He'll keep you. That's right. It doesn't matter what you're up against. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with. Hallelujah. God will keep him. If your mind, That's it. how do you expect to be kept if you don't have the mind that Jesus had? That's right. What brings about more confusion is when you lean to your own understanding and you take matters in your own hand. And whenever you take matters in your own hand and don't do it like God says, you will not have perfect peace. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. That's why you hear me often speak about the vision that God gave us. That's right. And my consistency and sticking with the vision Hallelujah. won't go the direction that people want me to go. Sometimes ministers make suggestions and I listen at their suggestion and compare it to what God Almighty already said. Yeah. I hear them, but then I won't follow what they say. That's right. Because the vision was here before I met any of them. That's right. And God knows what's best for the that's church. Best. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost says what? Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Do you want perfect? Hallelujah. Perfect Do it to God. Do you want perfect peace today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or are you willing to settle for anything? My Lord. God says. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. When I think of all the false prophets and that are howling all around the world about the truth of God and people wonder why I am not disturbed, my peace is perfect. That's right. That's wonderful. My peace is really perfect. Perfect. That's wonderful. Amen. Amen. Because I got something to fall back on. Oh, yes. Thank God when you got, James, when you got something to fall back on, you got something good. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your peace is perfect, perfect. family may turn on you. But when your peace is perfect, that don't even bother you. That's right. There is no peace better than the peace that the Lord gives. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. When I was in falsehood, being attacked by my former preacher, practically every time the doors was open, yeah. set me down for preaching the word of God for a whole year. Oh, yeah. After the year expired, he said, you're going to preach what I preach? I said, I'll preach what the Bible said. He said, I didn't ask you that. Are you going to preach what I preach? I held my guns and said, I'm going to preach what the Bible said. Right. He said, all right, being that you want to always talk about the Bible. He told the church, Gino going to preach tonight. I was only in my teens. Yeah. He selected the chapter, the book, and the verse. Out of obedience, I went to his book. I went to his chapter. I went to his verse. And I decreased, and God gave the increase. <laughs> That's right. In the midst of all that turmoil. That's right. God gave me perfect peace. Amen. Williams would ask him, I don't understand how you deal with it. Yeah. I said, I, when you turn a thing over to God, you don't turn it to God and take it back. That's right. Turn it to God and let him have it. That's it. That's right. When you're resorting to your own methods of trying to get perfect peace, you will never get it as long as you breathe. That's right. Because perfect peace cannot come on your own. No. It has to come from above. That's right. The Bible says every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above. And it comes down. down from the Father of lights of whom there is no veritables, no shadow of turning. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Did you hear this? Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Who's what? Whose mind is stayed on thee. How consistent it got to be? Whose mind is stayed on thee. Right then, the scripture is demanding stability. That's right. A double-minded man is unstable in how much? In all his ways. You get a double-minded person, they ain't going to stay with God? No. 
No, they they're won't. not going to stay with God. No, they're not. No, no. The no. first thing that depart from God is your mind. Your mind. The next thing that depart from God is your heart. Your heart. Even if your body keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. If God don't have your mind, God don't have your heart. Your heart. Whatever have your mind and your heart, you're going to serve it. That's right. And no man can serve two masters. Two masters. Glory to God, you're going to hate one and love the other. That's right. And that's what the churches are trying to do. Yeah. The churches are scared to be different from the world. That's right. They don't want to be different from the world. That's right. Because they're afraid of how the world going to look at them. Yeah. Anytime you walking with God, you got to be different from That's the world. Right. That's right. That's right. Got to be. Got to be. Why don't see you going to that prom? Because I'm not of the world. Not of the world. Why well, don't see you out here with shorts half naked? Right. I'm not of the world. Not of the world. Wonderful. Why well, don't see you shacking up with him no more? I'm not of the world. Not of the world. Amen. I'm part of a peculiar people. Peculiar. A royal priesthood. That's right. A sanctified people. That's right. Set apart for God's movement. That's right. If you are afraid Hallelujah. to be different, you don't deserve the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. If you are afraid yeah. to be different, That's right. you don't deserve no. eternal life with God. That's right. And that ye may put different. God said it. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And what? And that ye may put different. Put different. Between holy and and unholy. And That's why you don't see no difference in these churches. That's right. That's right. And different. they say, I am extreme. No, I am not. No, no. No, you're not. Different. You in here scared to be different? Yeah. You ain't fit for the kingdom. That's right. You so busy worrying about how they look at you out there. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. The Holy Ghost said in Leviticus 10:10, 10, 10, and that put, you, put different. Put it. That ye may put, put different. It. That means that's an act. That's an act. Got to be a difference here. That's right. You ain't out there loud and cussing people out in the street like the center? No. Different. Difference. Not out there with mini skirts on, walking downtown, with shoes strapped all up to your knee. That's right. Big old ghetto looking prostituting skeletos. That's right. Different. That's right. Brother, you ain't walk around with skin tight pants like you little richest nephew. Major, Amen. Major. Am I right? That she may put difference. Different, I said. Difference. The Bible speaks plain. And that ye and you may so called modern church Go going fakers. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You look just like the sinner. You act just like the sinner. That's right. And you think just like the sinner. That's right. That's right. That's why you find T.D. Jakes hanging That's out right. with Puff Daddy. Yeah. That's why you find the Church of God in Christ allowing Chris Tucker and others to do a comedy skit. That's right. Don't want to be different. That's right. That's why the churches are flying rainbow flags. Yeah. They don't want to be different. No difference. God is a God of no compromising. That's true. And if you compromise, you're just like the world. That's right. Go ahead, teacher. Jesus said through John, uh, love not love the world. Not the world. Don't love it. Neither the things that are in the world. That are in the world. If any man. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in you him. You had a graduation? And they announce your son or your daughter, you ain't yelling from the balcony. Like the world. Like I don't care world. how proud you are. That's Bible true. tell a woman have a meek and quiet spirit. That's right. That's right. She ain't yelling, Woo! That's my boy! Ah! <laughs> That's right. Imagine God come with you that tone. My Lord. Put a difference that she may put difference between holy no and No eye line shadow. I don't care how many gray strings come in your mustache. Don't dye it. That's right. Imagine me dyeing my hair. That little landing strip. Dye jet black, Pastor. Can you imagine? Amen. 
afraid to be different. That's right. So busy worrying about how you look in the eyes of people. Yeah. And when you talk to people like that, it hardly ever come out of their mouth. They're concerned how God look at them. That's right. You can talk to them for years, not once. That's true. Do whatever come out of their mouth, how God look at them. That's right. And this is why you find the churches, even them that's called themselves, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, walk hand in hand with anything. Yeah. Fellowship with anything. That's right. God says, put a difference. That she may put and if you scared to be different, you ought to go to hell. Because that's, that's where you're going. That's where you're going. The apostles were separate from everything. Yes, they were. That's why the government and the people of that time attacked them so viciously. Their gospel, the standard, was different from everything. Everything. That's so the right. Bible said, uh, we, got, we, that we wanted to destroy these destroy men. Them. Unless they turn the world upside down. They were scared the apostles' teaching would turn the world upside down. That's right. Brother Paul went on down in Asia where they was worshiping the great goddess Diana and Demetrius and the silversmith's men that had the same craft was paying homage to Diana. Yeah. Paul went in there in Asia and let us understand Asia is the largest continent in the world. But when Paul got done, the Bible says this Paul almost Turned away throughout all Asia, Asia hath persuaded, hath persuaded and turned away, and much, turned people, away much people. Saying that and that be, Paul said, there is no, no gods which are made with hands. He didn't care how Asia fell about him. No, he didn't. Throughout, almost throughout all Asia. Glory to God, I'm praying that this message That's will something. upset governments until they fight about it in Congress. That's right. Fight about it in Parliament. That's right. That's something. That's what I want. Amen. Amen. I want to see congressmen fighting over it. Amen. Well, we heard that preacher down there, sir, that truth of God saying homosexualism is wrong. I'm a Christian too. Where is the love? That's not love. That's not love. That's lust. That's right. That's what it is. We are different. That's right. Male and female. And female. We are not they. We are not them. No, no. No, sir. No way. And we ain't calling nobody they. And we ain't calling nobody them. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Talk back to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put a difference! Make, put difference! Go with take off! Put difference! You Republican Go ahead, fakers! Go ahead, man. That claim you are Christians! Go ahead! If you are like Christ, yes. Christ said, Shall a man That's right. let a man leave his father, father and mother and mother and cleave to and his cleave wife. today. And cleave to his wife. Wait a minute. Amen. Cleave to them. And cleave to his wife. Cleave to him. His wife. Cleave to his wife. <laughs> That's right. They don't call this love. No. They don't call that love. They say this is militancy. That's right. You call it what you want. The word of God said preach the word. That's it. Any minister scared to preach the word, you shouldn't hang around first church. No, no. No, it's best you pack up right now and don't never come back That's until right. you're ready to preach the word. That's it. That's right. Here we got our life on the line everywhere we go. My do. life is on the line, and I'm going to compromise for anybody? No. No, no. We challenge the government of America, the governments of Africa, the Caribbean, Europe, That's India, right. every place. Every place. Australia already lift the ban on me. <laughs> Amen. They said I could come. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. That's right. I'm do like Logan said. Be nice, G. <laughs> That's right. Be nice, G. That's right. I'll be nice till I get there. <laughs> Amen. Lord, thank God when I get there, I'm going to unload all the Bible I can and blast it to hell. Blast it. That's right. That's right. That's right. We recognize this 
By the fruit that is buried. That's right. Glory to God and it's bearing some good fruit. Oh, yes. And nobody can deny it. No. I mean, every time they walk up, they brush it up against the orchard of the truth of God. That's right. Listen at this. And that she may put difference, put difference between holy, between holy and unholy. Right out. And between unclean, between unclean and clean. Amen. If a sister commit fornication and had a child a wet lock, she's wrong. And she ought to come before the church and repent for her deed. You commit fornication and didn't have no child. Then why did you got so much to say about the one that had the child? That's right. The one that had the child, that simply is a manifestation of her deed. Right. You not having no child just got your deed undercover. That's right. But you're in the same boat. Yeah. In the same boat. That's right. That's right. That's Hear right. me good. And that she may put difference. <laughs> I love this. Amen. Go back to the book of Jude, son. Back in Jude 1 and verse 1. That's what the Holy Ghost brought here today. Jude, the servant of Jesus that Christ. Man, he, brought brought Jude, he brought Jude to me uh, early in the morning. I woke up wow. early this morning while it was still dark. And I heard the Spirit speak to me. My earnestly Lord. contend. My Lord, my Lord. For the faith that was, I heard it just as clear as day. Mm. Earnestly, contend Earnestly contend for the, for the faith, faith that was once delivered unto the saints. One Amen. Day. So this is what the Holy Ghost wants you to know today. Today. And I want you to get this. You that are watching also, hear this. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Say what? Be mercy unto mercy, you. Peace. And love be multiplied. And love. No, go back to the. Back beginning of it. Verse 1. Yes. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. Brother of James. To them that are sanctified them by that God are the Father. Set apart by God. And preserved in Jesus Christ. And they and are called. preserved in Jesus Christ, which is the name of God. And called. And called. Called. God called his people. That's right. It is written, the Lord has spoken and have called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. And he called us with a holy calling. Holy calling. All right. Mercy unto you. What? Mercy unto you. Compassion. That's right. Mercy. Only a fool don't want God mercy. Only a fool. Only a fool. Mercy. Mercy unto you. Unto you. And peace. And peace. And love be multiplied. Love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all Beloved. diligence. Beloved. Glory to God. When I gave all diligence to write unto, to you, write unto you of the common salvation, of the common salvation, which means that it's common for man to obtain this salvation. Obtain. What was the conclusion, William? It was needful it was for necessary me for me to write unto you to write unto you and, and exhort to you build you up. That you should earnestly contend that for the faith. you should be consistent. Earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Earnestly. Contend. For the faith. For the one belief. Which was once which delivered. Which was once delivered. Brought. Unto the saints. Unto the saints. That's right. Earnestly contend. This is the one faith here. The one faith. One that faith. was delivered to the saints. That's right. The Lord wants you to earnestly, earnestly contend, contend for that faith. Right. Not for what you think and what you feel, but for the faith that faith. Jesus brought. That's right. Because the coming of the Lord, this message now of yeah. be holy and sanctified is the message for the last days now. Now. That's right, right now. Not later. Now. Now. That's right. Glory to God. You wonder why so many thousands are running to it? Because God is gathering up his sheep for his coming. Oh, yes. And God is advising them that are in the faith. That you should earnestly contend earnestly. for the faith. Earnestly. Contend. You know, when you earnestly contend for the faith, you are consistent. That's right. Nobody and nothing come in and come around. Mm -hmm. Alters my faith. That's right. That's right. You know, I travel the world, so therefore, I'm around all kind of religions and religious leaders. I was in India. I went among the Hindus. I was uh, invited among the Hindus, mm -hmm. and I found it interesting, an uh, interesting lie. <laughs> because in India, they have over three million gods, and I'm saying to myself, it's hard enough to obey one. That's right. And you gave me over three million? My Lord. So the brothers who were ministers who used to be Hindus whom the Lord blessed 
heard the word of God, repented of their sins, was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, took me from temple to temple and explained to me the function of the different idols who supposed to have been gods. And I, I mean, these idols was tall, like from the floor up to ceiling. Mm. <clears throat> and there was one idol, I think he had about six or eight arms, mm. painted real black with fat red lips. And it was sitting behind this large glass case with a doorbell. So I walked up to the idol and looked at him from head to toe, a very <laughs> ugly thing. And uh, Bishop Simbali said, this, I forgot what name of this God is supposed to be. He said, but this God sleeps. Lord. He said, if you want anything from him, that bell there, you must ring the bell <laughs> to awake him. And then the God will give you what you want. And even he laughed. So the bell was there, and I rung it. Amen. And the God didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. I rung it again. God didn't do nothing. Amen. So I rung it and banged on the glass. <laughs> I wasn't expect for it to do anything. No. Because even the Hindus know if that large idol would have broke out that glass case, Everybody would have been running and hollering. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So sitting among the various religions in the world and listening at them explain their belief and how folly, how much foolishness it is. Give me a great satisfaction and a great appreciation oh, yes. to know who Jesus is. That's right. And I believe that a lot of us today take for granted of what God is in God's church and being in God's church, and we become very ease, very laid back. Don't you know when you come to God's house and your mind is not on the word of God but is on other things, that's not the word, you sin. That's right. You're a sinner sitting right here. Right here. Give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. In Ecclesiastes 5 and at verse 1. When your mind is constant on other things, you're constantly sinning. That's right. Which make you a mental sinner. That's right. Hear me good. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and at verse 1. Yeah. Keep thy foot. What? Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot means stay in place. When thou goest to the house of God. When you come where? To the house of God. Amen. When we come to God's house, what should we be more ready to do? And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to shout. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to see who's there. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to tell that brother off. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to go wife shopping. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to see who I can take out for a date. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to steal church money. Be more ready to hear. That's right. Be more ready to see, can I be a preacher? Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear than to do what? Than to give the sacrifice of food. Than to offer yourself up wrong. For they consider not. You not even giving no thought. That they do evil. You're sinning. That's right. That's right. You know one thing about holiness the deep things of God makes you think deeper than you ever thought since you've been on the planet. Oh, yes. What of God says what? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And what else? And be more ready to hear. More ready. More, more ready. More ready. That's right. Any of us ain't more ready to hear. We more ready to run off at the mouth. That's right. And end up sinning with our mouth. That's right. Be not rash with thy mouth. Uh-oh. Do you hear it? In Ecclesiastes 5, now with verse 2. Don't be rash with your mouth, nor. Let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Back up. Be not rash with thy mouth. And what else? And let not thine heart. Thine heart. Don't let your what? Thine heart. <laughs> Amen. Don't you be so quick to tell someone how you feel. That's right. That's right. 
You want to tell that brother off or tell that sister off. That's right. You can't wait for the benediction. <laughs> two brothers want to have it out. Two old mothers want to have it out. Oh, Moving in slow motion with kings. <laughs> Many of you in the truth of God is going to hell. My Lord. God has brought this message to you for your salvation and protection. And some of you still ignore it because you're hard-headed and don't want it. Don't ask me after service, am I talking to you? God is talking. You That's judge right. yourself. That's right. What do you mean when you say, don't ask me nothing? nothing. Judge yourself. That's it. Because God is warning you now. That's right. Every time God warns us, it's before judgment takes place. Yeah. Hear this. Be not rash with thy mouth. Don't be rash with your mouth, and nor. let not thine heart. Don't let your heart. Be hasty to utter anything Don't be quick to God. say what's in your heart. Before God, you're in the presence of God. That's right. And that for that reason. For God is in heaven and thou upon earth. And how shall we talk? Therefore, let thy words be few. That's right. You may say something and it may be your last words. Yes, this is Ecclesiastes. Chapter 5 and that was at verse 2. The fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. Keep your foot. Keep back in verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. When you come to God's house. And, be and the word ready? of God going to be preached, mm -hmm. you should be on the edge of your seat. More than you are if you're looking at an old football game. That's true. That's true. Why? This is eternal life coming to you. Yeah. That's true. Amen. Amen. Eternal life, hallelujah, mm. is coming to you. Oh, yes. We're going to watch a movie and don't blink. Or don't even fall asleep on it. We hate to miss it. That's right. If we got the telephone, we can't even hardly get all the information that whoever's on the line saying. Oh, we're telling. Wait, wait, wait. Shh, wait, just wait. Oh! <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. This message. It's designed to keep us out of hell. There's no need to do what it takes to go to hell. The word of God says. Keep thy foot when thou goest it. to the you house of God. You keep it now. When you can turn earnestly for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints, you keep your foot, you pay attention, you observe it when you come to God's house. That's right. And you're more ready to. To hear. More ready and that don't mean you're more ready to hear somebody else's business. I want it to be good for you newsy speaking in tongue people. That's some right. of y'all folks speak in tongue and some of the most nosiest things under the sun. You ain't got the right to no one business unless they invite you. That's hey, I'm right. the overseer of thousands. I don't even just jump in nobody's personal business. Mm -hmm. If I'm not invited, I'm fine. That's right. That's one less problem I got to deal with. That's right. Hear me good? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And what? And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice. You know, a lot of folks get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the Bible. That's right. Because getting mad at me won't help you none. No. And getting mad at God won't help you none. The best thing to do is fall in line. Line up. That's right. But we'll take God with what the word of God said. That's it. What is it? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. Why? For they consider not that they do evil. You don't even give it thought. You sit right in church. That's true. Evil thoughts all in your mind. Evil feelings all in your heart. You don't even consider that you are evil right now in the eyes of God. That's right. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. You are evil brother, an evil sister, an evil minister, an right. evil mother, an evil elder, an evil child. That's right. Right now. They consider not that they do evil. You're not even considering. Amen. Go ahead. The Holy Ghost said, be don't be rash. With thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Now you see why it takes God to make a preacher. Oh, yeah. Amen. God Amen. told Jeremiah, thou shalt speak all what I tell you. All what I tell you. And uh, ever since God made me a preacher, he never made me afraid to tell the people the truth. That's right. But 
But I've learned there's consequences for standing for the truth. And you got to be willing to accept those consequences. At this stage in my life, I'm willing to accept all the consequences. Wonderful. Standing for the truth of the gospel. Wonderful. wonderful. Go back to the book of Jude here. Back in Jude chapter 1 at verse 3. Yeah. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. to write to you concerning this common salvation, it was needful. For me to write unto you. For me to write unto you. And, and exhort you. to exhort you. That, that you should earnestly, should contend, earnestly for the faith. contend not for the faiths. The faith. One Lord, one faith, one, faith. one baptism. That's right. One belief that the Lord has. One belief. And everybody belief, if you hear me good, mm -hmm. must be exactly mm. what the word of God says. Exactly. Baptists got their belief, non-denominational got theirs, Pentecostal got theirs, Apostolic got theirs, African Methodist Episcopal got theirs, right. uh, the regular Episcopalians got theirs, the Catholics got theirs, Mormons got theirs. Jehovah Witnesses, Scientologists, Seventh-day Adventists, Hebrew Israelites. Everybody got their beliefs. Their beliefs. That's right. And it's hard to find anybody that's interested first. What do God believe? What do God believe? That's what I want. I want to know what do God believe. Right. I don't care nothing about what you believe. <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, Pastor Jennings, did I stutter? That's right. I don't care what None of you believe. That's right. My interest is, is what God believed first. First. And you better take your belief and bow it to God's belief. That's right. That's right. Well, my spirit don't agree with that. I don't care. <laughs> That's you right. need the Holy Ghost. If you had the Holy Ghost, you would agree to it. That's right. Because God's spirit ain't never fight the word. No. Mm -mm. Spirit of God bring us subjection to the word. That's right. That's I right. admit it. Like once woman. I don't know who she was, but she made some type of little uh, few seconds podcast and said the Lord told her to leave First Church when the COVID virus came out because Pastor Jennings took the shot. And she said the Lord revealed to her that was the mark of the beast. My Lord, my Lord. Out of all that Bible, that the mark would be given either in your hand or, or on your forehead, forehead, not on your shoulder. No. They say Pastor Jennings took the mark. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Now, what's on my forehead? Yes. Zoom the camera in. See, do you see the mark there? <laughs> the mark. Show him your hand, Pastor. Here's my hand. Show him your hand. <laughs> That's right. You bunch of hellions. <laughs> That's right. Lord have mercy. Mm. Paul said, I became all things to all men. So I don't be hindered from going around the world preaching the gospel. I decide to take the shot. That's it. That's Why? Right. So I can just go over there and preach the gospel. That's right. I wasn't going to let something as little as a shot keep you from stepping on foreign soil. That's right. That's right. That's all. That's all. But they criticize me and they ain't paid no mind. <laughs> I laughed about it. Because the word of God is still preached. Still preached. I hit. Thousands were still going down in the water with the shot in my arm. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And the same fellow that came to headquarters, Israel, to debate me and contend that it was the shot, but the fall long after that, he died. What? Fighting God's word. He died. Lord. So you that said that, that that was the mark of the beast, that's a lie. Because the Bible don't let us know. The Bible don't let us don't say it's coming in a syringe or, or a needle. No. In fact, that beast haven't even came yet. No. What you gonna do when another virus comes? You're going to call that the mark of the beast. It only comes, the beast mark only comes one round. one round. The Bible ain't said that it come, disappear, come back, disappear. No, 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 no. Let's come back to Bible. I stay with Bible. I pull up to the Bible, part, and put my quarters in the meter and stay there. That's great. Pastor Jennings got the mark of the beast. No, I don't. You want me to have it. Want you because this preaching is tearing you to pieces. Right. Look at my head. That's right. 
Look at my hands. Sure, my hands. Is this new? Look at my feet. They are too. That's right. Show them your right hand, Pastor. Supposed to be in my right hand. Right hand. Show them your right hand. Look at it. That's right. Where do you see the mark at? No. It ain't say shoulder. Exact no more than what's upon it. That's right. Folks use the vaccine to, uh, as an excuse because the gospel was just too tight for them. Yeah. That's all that was. That's all it was. Amen. That's I right. wouldn't let a needle keep me from not being able to go to England and Europe yeah. and Jamaica. Something so small as a needle. Be, don't be foolish. That's right. We went over there with the shot and preached the gospel and baptized thousands. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And souls received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue from the message. Think of it. While I was preaching Think with the shot, That's the Holy right. Ghost fell on them. That's right. That's right. With the shot in my arm. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, when you have the thing right, right. you can tell it because the world hollers <laughs> when right. you have it right. That's right. And thank God when I think of it, the world is hollering over one program, the truth of God. That's right. Preacher contacted me from Georgia, Hadley. And uh, he said, I didn't know there were so many fellas over at social media yelling about you. He said, I don't even go on social media. He said, white, black, Hispanic, everything is yelling about you. Men doing it, women doing it. He said, I'm shocked. I didn't even realize it. I said, because it's the greater thing. That's right. The Bible said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Yeah. The reason why there's so much ruckus is because there's no one. That's kicking up a lot of Holy Ghost noise with Bible. That's right. Everybody today practically want to go along and get along. Yeah. I ain't going along with nobody to get along with nobody. That's right. That's right. And I ain't begging nobody to get along with me. Amen. And Amen. I mean nobody. Nobody. Hallelujah. I mean it. Just oh, as yeah. sure as God is my God. I'm not begging nobody to get along with me. No. Lord, thank God I'm on, I, I'm on God's side. Right. And by me being on God's side, I'm very, hallelujah, I'm, Williams, I'm very confident there. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. When I gave all diligence. Diligence to write unto you. To write unto you. Of the common salvation. It was needful for necessary me to write unto you. To write to you. And exhort and you. Exhort that you. you should earnestly contend for the faith. That what? Which was once delivered unto the saints. That's what all of you that need to do. And all the Earnestly thousands continue. and millions that are watching, you got to contend, contend for that one for faith. faith. Earnestly. And you can't deviate from it. No. I don't care how weak you get. I'd rather get weaker. Hear, hear me good. I'd rather get weaker than the weakest child of God on the planet. Yeah. I'd rather be weaker than him or weaker than her yeah. than to turn my back on God. That's right. I don't know who the weakest one is in the world. Don't know. Don't no. care. But I'd rather be weaker than them. That's right. And still wrestle with God. Still. And then tell God, Hallelujah. I ain't letting you go until you bless me. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not letting you go. Hallelujah. Go right to God Hallelujah. until you bless me. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you contend earnestly Earnest. for the faith, you won't let nobody root you up. No way. No false doctrine is appealing to you. That's right. Because you're contending for the faith. For the faith. That's once delivered unto the saints. You cannot be coerced right. by a false prophet. That's right. You cannot be coerced by a seen right way. That's right. Won't even consider it. Amen. You find folks listening to false prophets all over social media, they get among themselves considering the lies. Considering. And when you start even considering a lie, yeah. it shows that you're not sound. That's you're right. weak. That's right. Wow. One scripture talks about not being moved from your own steadfastness. When you contend earnestly, earnestly. for the faith, once you live it unto the saints, you won't let your wife move you. No. I don't care if she don't like it. You won't let your husband move you. 
If he forbids you to serve God, now it's time to fight. I'm going to fight to serve God. That's right. That's right. Fight the good fight. fight. Bible says fight the good fight of faith, of faith and lay hold on eternal life. On eternal life. It ain't say lay hold on eternal wife. <laughs> That's right. Say laid hold on eternal, eternal life, life. whereunto that are also called. Your wife going to die one day and your husband. That's right. But God, he will never die. That's right. Hallelujah. Very yeah, good. It was needful for me to write unto you. This was necessary because Jesus, who is God, saw the condition of the church. That's right. And he moved on this servant, Jew. Jew. Because it was needful for something to be written. That's right. Uh -huh. And exhort you that you should exhort. earnestly. You should do this. Earnestly contend for the faith. Don't just come together That's looking right. at each other. That's right. Are you contending for the faith? Contend for the faith. Are you contending yeah. for it? That's it. Earnestly. Earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly contend. Some folk, when service is over, they leave out so mad, can't even speak to you. Mad word got them roasted. Roasted. That's right. Mad. That's right. Be mad as you want. You going to obey this or die without God? That's right. Who? Everybody. That's right. That goes for you two stubborn stiff necks that are watching. You're going to obey this, or in hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Yes, you will. You too, bishop. That's right. You too, pastor. You too, elder. Yeah. You too, so-called junior bishop, half pint apostle, <laughs> district elder. You're going to obey this. That's right. You hear what the word of God says. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you it of was, the common salvation. It was needful. It was needful and for me. And this is needful. It's needful. Want to get to a, a, a point in God that no false teaching can step into your heart the size of a mustard seed. That's right. Because even a mustard seed is the smallest seed, but if it's planted, you give it time, it grow into something big. That's right. And when false teaching get in your heart, and getting your mind, it's easy to tell to start taking root because now you start pulling brothers and sisters aside, yeah. trying to argue with them and trying to fuss with them That's right. over some dumb concept you have. <laughs> That's right. That lets you know that lie is starting to take root. Yeah. It starts to fester. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. It was needful for me to write unto yeah, you. God, I thought about one brother mm -hmm. they told me about who used to be in the Atlanta temple. He went out and backslid and went with some false prophet, but he was talking to one of the brothers who was an ex-Trinitarian in the truth of God. Mm -hmm. And the brother told him, all oh, that fellow doing is preaching Trinitarianism. He said, that's what I came out of. And the brother didn't believe him until time went on, and they told me, now he said, yeah, you're right. Mm. He said, now he don't go there no more. Just wandering. You see, when you come in the truth, you don't come in the truth just to be here and let years pass. That's right. You have to get settled in it. That's right. If years and time is passing over you and you never get settled, you're lost while you're here. That's right. Colossians. Colossians chapter 1, one and, and verse, verse 23. 23. If ye continue, if ye continue in the faith, Grounded. Wait a minute. Amen. If. If you do it. If you continue in the faith. If. You know when you continue in the faith, don't be afraid what you're going to lose. That's right. You got to be willing to suffer the loss of everything. That's right. I love my wife. Sure I do. But if I got to lose her because of what I stand for, I lose her quicker than I can spit. <laughs> There's no bargaining, there's no compromising, there's no pleading, there's no second guess, and don't dare give me an ultimatum. That's right. That's an insult to God and me. That's right. That's I got right. seven kids, love all of them. Yeah. But if, that, if, if one say, I don't want God, don't even acknowledge me as your father. Lord. 
Someone say that sounds harsh. If you reject God as your father, how are you going to accept me as your father? That's right. Go ahead. I want to say that's rude. Give me the epistle of John. How can we love him? Yes. Whom we don't see. First John chapter 4 and verse 20. Let's get Bible for it. If a man say I love God and hateth his brother. You know, some women say, ooh, how that man, I'm glad I'm not his wife. Well, you ain't got that to worry about. <laughs> I'm glad you ain't either. <laughs> and make two of us. That's right. God made me a preacher. Yes, he did. Preacher. And a lot of folk don't understand how that's done. That's God right. made me a preacher. That's right. That's wonderful, brother. Being that heaven made me a preacher, the Lord God of Abraham appeared to us and I heard God's voice. That's right. You will never know and never understand what hearing God's voice is like and what it done to you, how it changed you. Hallelujah. That's wonderful, brother. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's wonderful. All fear yeah. is stripped out of your very existence. Yeah. That's he redesigned you yeah. oh. to only fear him yeah. and die for him. Yeah. And whosoever will, yeah. let him come. Let him go. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's beautiful, Pastor. So when folks hear me say that, I said, ooh, his poor wife. That girl ain't poor. Thank God she's blessed. That's right. Regardless of how blessed she is, she know my God-given stand. It's a stand that I'm not willing to trade. What would a man give in exchange for his soul? That's the problem with some of you preachers that are watching. Your, yeah. wives, your wife run the church. Yeah. You ain't nothing but a figurehead. That's right. Your wife run the church. She tell you who to meet with. She tell you how much money to raise. She tell what you can do and what you can't do. And because you are afraid of your bed turning to Alaska. Hey, hey, go ahead. <laughs> That's right. Your wife's leg shouldn't dictate what you preach. Yeah. You right. should put Bible over booty. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Bible over booty. That's right. I want to make it so plain you got to understand it. That's right. You old weak thing don't put booty over Bible. Go ahead, brother. You preach something, your wife sit out there. I, I came out of false churches and I seen it done. Yes. I have seen preachers preach certain things and their wife got peed off about it. And look at them. And the preacher said, Well, oh, it's time to bring it home now. It's time my 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 work is done. I have Finish the course. I, I have fought a good fight. There is laid up for me a crown. Am I right? I said. That's right. Any man let his house dictate his gospel, you are not a preacher. Not a preacher. I don't care who you are. That's right. When right. a Bible selects the wife and says she's to help me, that'll mean help you make decisions in the church, no. preach the gospel, and use Bible judgment on the people. No way. No! No, no. No. Some of you brothers that got the preacher's itch, <laughs> first stop being a spineless man. Stop being a spineless man before you look at the pulpit. That's right. You got to be willing to sacrifice if you, if you walk with the truth and that wife tell you, well, if you stay in that, I ain't going to touch you ever again and you ain't touching me. If you cry, cry. But hold your Bible ground. That's right. I don't care if 
if you so cold that your frost build up on your mustache and your whole mustache fall off your top lip. That's right. Any time the bedroom dictate what you preach, who's a liar to say you sent by God. Amen. You're sent by a skirt. That's right. That's why they say I'm mean, because none of these fellas is preaching this. No, no. Any ministry name after the preacher and his wife. Imagine me having another segment of the truth of God. Questions you can ask, ask Pastor and Sister Janet. That's right. That's right. That's out of hell. <laughs> and my wife sitting next to me calling. Call Questions in. you can ask Pastor and his wife, Sister Janet. That's right. There ain't no husband and wife ministry. We ain't no tag team. Amen. When it comes to that Bible and preaching the gospel, we ain't no tag team. No, no. When they preach the gospel, it's God and I. That's right. And that's it. Let's get some Bible. 11 chapter, 1 Corinthians, begin at verse 1. Let's see the order of things. The order of things. I know many of you women now is cussing like I don't know what because your husband hears this and he's telling you this and you cussing him out. That's right. I done had men write me and tell me they heard this message and their wife cussed them out. The man tried to get a spine. Yeah. Some of you fellas write me, Pastor Jennings, I don't know what to do. I tried telling my wife, but she, she told me that if I want to follow Jesus, I can't have sex with her. What should I do? Be a monk and follow Jesus. That's right. That's right. Earnestly contend. Earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Let's see the order of things. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 3. Begin at verse 1. At verse 1. Quickly. Be ye followers of me. Be ye followers of even me. Even as I also am of Christ. Yes. Now I praise you, brethren. Now I praise you, brethren. That ye remember me in all things. Remember me in everything. And keep the ordinances keep as the I delivered them to you. Ordinances as I delivered unto you. But I would have you know. I want, here, look at the order. Amen. I would have you to know. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is, is Christ. Christ. And the head of the woman, and the head of the woman is the is the man. Is the man. And the head of Christ, and the head of Christ is God. What you mean? The head of the man is Christ. The head of the man was the Son of God. That's right. Because he's the head of the body. The head of the body. And what else is that? And the head of the woman, and the head of the woman is the man. Is the man. And the head of Christ, and the head of Christ is God. That means the head of the. That, that body of flesh and blood that Mary birthed is the spirit. That's why the spirit in the first chapter of the book of Luke it is written, when Jesus was born, he shall be called the son of, of the, the highest. highest. The highest. God is the highest. the highest. Jesus Christ, that body was the son of God. That's right. So therefore, the spirit that was in it was higher right. than the actual man. That's right. Higher in nature. One nature was divine, the other nature is human. You false prophets that use that scripture that the Lord took uh, the rib from Adam. That means that the woman is side by side with the man. No. There ain't no Bible said that you're <laughs> side by side with a lie. And the head of you the woman. You are side by side liar. <laughs> That's, right. That's what you are. That's a right. side by side liar. That's right. And when I preached it, they said, ooh, he put women down. No, I don't. I'm preaching Bible. Don't it's, blame me. It's the Bible. I'm preaching Bible. The reason why some of you are mad is because you're so arrogant so stubborn and so devilish mean, and you want the old impact man impact. that you can control with your womb. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, Anytime brother. a woman body control you, you're not a man. No. You're not a, man. not a man. When a woman body control you, you're not a man. That's right. Because if you can be controlled by a woman body, you're going to be riding around seeing who you can pick up. Yes, you will. That's right. She going to dictate when you come to church and when you stay home. Yeah. If she don't want to come to church, all she's going to do is throw her body on you. Yes, throw her arms around you, all naked and kissing. Don't you go to that. <laughs> and you're like, come on, girl, I got to go to church. Nah, yeah, I got to go to church. Come on. Don't go to church. Am 
Am I right? I said. Throw that leg round your thigh like a hook. Catching a fish. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, man. When a woman do that just to keep you out of church, the devil was using her. Oh, yeah. That ain't love. That's the devil using her. That's right. Because when a woman got the mind of Christ, she ain't going to try to keep you out of God's house. No way. If a husband got the mind of Christ, he ain't going to try to keep you out of God's house. That's because right. the word said, I was glad, glad when, they said it. when they said unto me, let us go, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let to us the go. house of the Lord. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Glad about it. Glad about it. I suppose the Bible said this is good for the present distress. Some of you men here, I'm talking to your business, and I know it. That's right. Some of you have chose to stay home to have sex over church. Over church. Over church. You had who chose sex over church. That's right. Some of you women did the same thing, chose sex over church. <laughs> That's right. You're not contending for the faith. Not earnestly contending You're for contending the for the meat market. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Pastor Jennings, you're just different. No, I'm just Pastor Jennings. <laughs> I'm just G. That's all. That's all. That's and I all. believe what's written. That's and it. I'm determined to contend for that faith. The for faith has got to be more important than anything in the world. That's when are right. you going to get this in your head? That's right. The faith of the Lord Jesus Christ must be more important more to important. you than your daily food. That's right. So the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of God's mouth. That's right. I'm laboring to elevate your mind and your heart to be like Jesus. That's it. Not be like Jennings. That's be it. like Jesus. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. This is necessary, teach. It was needful for me to write unto you. And what? And exhort you. What happened? That you should earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Earnestly contend. Keep it up. That's it. What happened? Which was once delivered unto the saints. You got to pursue the things that they pursue. That's right. In order to be in the church, in mm. order to stay in the church, you got to pursue the things they pursue. Yeah. You can't put nothing equal to God next to God. Certainly not above God. No way. Nothing in your life should rival God. That's right. Nothing in nobody. That's right. And when you take this type of one man wrote me, he said, uh, to me, you are the John the Baptist of the 21st century. <laughs> he said, Pastor Jennings, I have went from church to church, so-called apostolic, so-called holiness. And nobody is crying out against the ills of the world. No. And he said, I must confess, when I first heard you, I couldn't stand you. He said, I said some things about you that I had to repent for later. Mm. But I'm pretty sure he's not alone. That's right. I'm pretty sure as many of you here <laughs> said all kind of things about you. Sure you That's did. Right. Sure you did. You right. couldn't stand me. Yeah. You thought something was wrong with me. Even now, Bowser say I'm crazy. <laughs> Bowser, sometime now, say I done lost my mind. That's all right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. Oh, no. I believe what is written. And most people have never met a preacher that's willing to stick one trillion percent to what's written. That's it. They talk it. It sounds good. Yeah. But they ain't willing to do it. That's right. Not only am I willing to do it, I'm determined to do it at all costs and at all loss. Wonderful, brother. Pastor Dennis, how is it you feel that way? Hallelujah. Let's use the intelligence that God gave us. What did you come in the world with? Nothing. What did you come with? Nothing. Nothing. What did you think you're going out with? That settled that argument, then. That. 
Ain't no need for you to get so attached to nothing because you might lose it anyway. That's right. Not only that, if you get attached to something more than God, more than he'll take it from you. Yes, he will. Whether it's your husband, whether it's your wife, whether it's your job, whether it's your money, whether it's your house. That's right. The Lord giveth. Giveth. And the Lord taketh away. And the away. Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah, take your husband. Yes, he will. He will take your wife. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You better get this thing right in your mind. That's right. Everybody is expendable, but God. But God. Even I am expendable. That's right. I won't say you're the man of God. So what? So was Moses. Moses died. God buried him. God wasn't stuck. The journey kept going. Hey, uh, Joshua, Joshua, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. <laughs> That's right. He told Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of thine mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night to observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then thou, thou, thou wish shall be prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. good success. Moses got buried, but the journey kept going. That's right. I'm not a fool. You in here think you're not expendable? You, you think that? Mm. Creation is expendable. That's why heaven and earth going to pass, pass away. away. That's, right. That's right. They're going to burn it up. That's right. You can glory in your house now and glory in your money now, but when you die, you can't take nothing with you. No. All of us in here know somebody that died, and the one that died left everything behind. That's right. Didn't they do it? Amen. You still see the old dirty stinking sneakers? You see the old shoes? You see the old suits, the old faded shirts? Even their pictures is faded. That's right. You see their bottles of perfume? Outdated now. They done sat there so long, the fragrance changed. Yeah. Don't even smell like perfume no more. That's right. When you get it in your mind that you're not expendable, you are arrogant, self-righteous fool. Oh, yes. Heaven and earth going to pass, pass away. away. And the lust thereof. Right. But he that doeth the will of God abide forever. shall abide forever. 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 I think of that. All this work God had me doing, killing myself, just to come burn it up. Mm. He going to come burn it all up. All of it. Amen. He going to burn it all up. So please, I don't want nobody, man or woman, think you're not expendable. Everything in the earth, God going to get rid of. Get rid of it. Only thing that abides forever is his word. word. And that's what I want you, your mind to get just like that. Don't get too attached right. to nothing and nobody that you're willing to exchange it for God. For God. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. This is old school teaching. That's right. What would a man give exchange for an exchange soul. for his soul? For Name his soul. one thing that you have or one thing you met that is more important than God. And let me meet it. That's right. I don't care if it's in your pocket or it's on your shelf or it walk, it talk. I would like to see it. <laughs> Amen. You say, Pastor Janice, I, I, this here... Rival God. No, it don't. No. You love your wife more than God, God will afflict her. He can. You love your husband more than God, God will smite him. That's right. You know why? 20th chapter, book of Exodus will That's tell it. you why. That's it. And give me where God will make thee sick and smiting thee. Smiting thee. Exodus chapter All 20. All sickness don't come from the devil. No. Yeah, hear me, hear me. I want to educate you today real good. That's right. Because these preachers out here saying, only the devil make you sick. That's a lie. That's a lie. Hear me good? First in Exodus chapter 20 and at verse 1. Listen. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, I which have brought Lord thee out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord thy God, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Out of the Egypt. house of bondage. And what? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yes. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt no graven image. Or any likeness or of any anything likeness that of is in heaven above. Or that is in heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath, beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. And what else? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. What? Nor serve them. Why? For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. 
Now, who do you think you are? <laughs> That's right. Mr. Big Stuff. You remember that? <laughs> Mr. Big Stuff. Mr. Big Stuff. Who do you think you who are? Who do you think you are? That's right. The folk walking around here think they so much. And here the Bible says you're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Who? Everybody. That's I'm right. less than nothing. That's right. And if I can admit I'm less than nothing, don't you come to me like you so much or something. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hear me, God. Now in Micah chapter 6 and verse 13. Chapter and verse again. Micah chapter 6 and verse 13. Says what? Therefore also will I make thee sick. Get at verse 12. At verse 12. Listen at this. For the rich men thereof are full of violence. The rich men are full of violence. And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. And what? And their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Yes. Therefore also will I make God thee talking. sick. Therefore. Amen. I, a lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. No. Therefore, I, I will make thee sick. Get chapter and verse again. Micah chapter 6 and Micah, verse chapter six, chapter 6 and verse 13. And verse 13. Therefore also will I make thee sick. How I'm going to do it? In smiting thee. What? In making thee desolate because of thy sin. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Because of your hard headness and disobedience. Amen. And putting other things in front of God, God uh, do something or alter your breathing. You will. Pains you never had before. You think it's pains because of age, and it isn't. That's right. God is knocking at the door of your heart. Yeah. You know we got a merciful God considering he can cut us off whenever he chooses. That's right. Thank you, God, you're still in the land of the living. You that are sinners that are here, who've been watching us over YouTube and other stations. Time for you to get right with God and stop living like a fool. You always tell your friends, ain't no fool, man. Stop acting like one then. <laughs> you out here gang banging and drinking. You got all that beer in your house. You know that six pack. You took one last night. Took one last night and you thought about Pastor Jennings while you was getting it. <laughs> Pastor Jennings said you shouldn't be taking no beer, but I'm like, this is going to be my last one yes, and I'm Lord. going to church tomorrow. <laughs> yes, right. That's right. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Amen. God wants to clean you up. And you should want to be clean until the Bible said you're clean through the word. That I speak unto you. Why do you think the church is in such a disarray? No word, no you word. can't be clean. The word comes to clean the church. And there's some stains you got to resort to aggressive methods to clean it. Amen. That old, before you had a washing machine, that old time, we'll get that scrub board. That's right. That big old metal tub, and you scrub that thing and scrub that thing. Sometime the wife may wash her husband's shirts. He may not have a ring around the collar. He may have an expressway around the collar. <laughs> the ring, the ring that went all the way down the collar. The thing spread. <laughs> that thing spread it like a virus. She can spray stuff on it, spray. scrub it. Of course, you throw it in the washing machine. That's right. I got to use the soap of scriptures. The soap. Refine soul. And he shall sit. Hear, hear this. Now in the book of Malachi, chapter 3, we're at verse 2. That's right. But who may abide the day who of may his coming? Who may abide the day of his coming, not their coming? His coming. I was in St. Lucia, and men rose up to debate me about who Jesus was. Yeah. And they read, he read some scripture, and he, I said, so who is coming back for the church? He said, two. I said, who are they? He said, the father and the son. Two is going to come back to rapture the church. Mm. I said, well, the Bible said the Lord himself. himself. He said, I asked him, do you believe that? He said, no. Yeah, I right. told him, you go sit down. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Amen. They're so blind and deceived of the devil. Yeah. Do you hear this? Malachi chapter 3 and at verse 2. What is it? But who may abide the day of his coming? Who may abide? Who will take 
God the day of his coming. And who shall stand when he appeareth? Who shall stand when he? Ain't going to be no day appearing. No. He. That's one. That's right. Who is that one? Jesus. Jesus. The Lord himself. 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 That's right. Yeah, good. For he is like a refiner's he is like, fire. Look at it. He's like a refiner's fire. And like fuller's soap. And like fuller's soap. soap. So I have to come along and with the word of God and wash you. Yeah. Uh, I got to get Bible for saying that. Isaiah, I believe, 116. 116. So much Bible coming to my mind and I'm ready to quit. Isaiah, my father have not left me alone. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 16. Has what? Wash you. What? Wash you. For what reason? Make you clean. Why? Put, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. What is God's suggestion? Cease to do evil. What shall we learn? Learn to do well. What shall we go after? Seek judgment. And what else? Relieve the oppressed. And? Judge the fatherless. What shall we do? Plead for the widow. What shall we do, son? Come now. Stay away. Come now. Be hard-headed. Come now. Be mad. Come now. Be upset. Come now. Come on! And let us reason together. That's what Brother Logan said. Come on! <laughs> That's right. That's right. Come on, let us reason together. Saith the Lord. Saith God. Though your sins be as scarlet. Hold it. They shall be as white as snow. Though they be Sin, here, here, here now. Amen. Amen. Sins as scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet, scarlet is like a bright red. Amen. So when the Bible says, though your sins be as scarlet, as scarlet, like when the harlot Rahab, I believe it was, when Israel was going to come in town and by God's permission and God was going to tear down everything. Amen. And for her house and her to be saved, she was instructed to let this scarlet thread down out the window. Because uh, that way when we come in town, you will be spared. So when the Bible says, though your, skin, your sins, sins be, as, be scarlet. as scarlet, that means your sins are seen. Yeah. Your sins are bold. That's right. Then what? Though your sins, your be sins as are loud. That's right. That's right. What are you going to do with them? They shall be as white as snow. You're going to tone that stuff down. Though they be red like crimson. Though they be red like crimson. They shall be as wool. They shall be as wool. If ye be willing. Now. Are you listening to me today? Amen. Do you hear the word of God talking? If ye be willing. No, if you got to force them. If ye be willing. Fight with them. If ye be willing. Argue with them. If ye be willing. Go tit for tat. If ye be willing. God want cooperation. That's right. And what I find, it is hard to get people to do something as simple as cooperate. Amen. They will cooperate for money. Yeah. But it's hard to get them to cooperate with the Bible. That's right. Tell them the Bible says this. The Bible says that. I know, but this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's right. I was debating with in St. Lucia. I told him what the Bible said. He wouldn't cooperate it. He wouldn't cooperate with it. Amen. I said, is that the truth? He said, no. no. And then he wanted to bring the Bible. I said, you don't need to bring me nothing if you don't believe this. That's right. Cooperate with God. You want God to cooperate with you, don't you? Oh, yes. I want God to cooperate with me. Certainly I do. Oh, yes. Who would not want God to cooperate with them? The one that had the power of life and death, and all your blessings come from him. Come from him. You remember that. All your blessings That's come right. from him. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Not once yet have God had to take a blessing. From me through the years that he gave me. Not once. Not once. I'm determined to keep that record. I won't let nobody interfere with me and my God. Nobody. 
I'll bite you tooth and nail or I'll walk away from you. That's right. I'll leave you alone. Yeah. That what? Don't say you was perfect? Nope. Well, how is it then? David was a man after God's own heart. And David was not perfect. That's right. But you know how he remained a man after God's own heart? The humility of his heart and the repentance and the acknowledgement of his wrong. That's right. I'm not, some, I'm not talking about somebody just keep trying to tell you, did you do this, did you do that, did you do that? And you know you didn't, but they keep hounding you. That man keep hounding you because he wants you to say yes. Yeah. You know you're innocent about the thing. I wouldn't care if Gabriel came here. That's right. You want to stay, keep your blessings? Always acknowledge between you and God. That's right. God had never at one time, not once, and I'm willing to turn my back and walk away and knock out and stomp down every day. <laughs> Getting baritone on you. Every day. Like the Hulk. Every day. All the blessings you have, don't you want to keep them? Yeah. Oh, yes. And don't you want more? Yeah. I want the word of God to be fulfilled that the windows of heaven open up and I don't have room yeah. to receive. That's right. That's what I want. That's right. Wonderful, brother. I got brothers that are good brothers, and I got some sisters that are good sisters. But some of them can testify that there were blessings that God took from them. Mm. Took it. And they knew God took it. Mm. I remember one of my brothers, he was praying for a contract and he got it. In fact, several of them. But because of his conduct, God took him. He took contract after contract after contract after contract, making good money. God knows what to do to keep you humble. That's right. That's right. Don't ever That's right. let God have to curse your blessing. Are you listening? Amen. Don't ever let God have to curse your blessing. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, God don't care who you are. No. Take it from an apostle. <laughs> I was made by hands of heaven. God don't care who I am when no. it comes to his word. Moses mm. died. God buried him. I don't read where God was somewhere crying. No. <laughs> Not God. No. Moses died. Hey, Joshua, rise up. Take this people on this journey. That's right. As I was with Moses, so shall, shall I, I be with you. My Lord, what more can you ask? <laughs> I'm laboring to I'll get God's people to prioritize. That's right. Put God first. Ah! Nothing in this life should be more important in your life than God. Once you put him first, keep him there. Right. Don't let nobody invade that territory. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. Keep him out. Keep her out. Keep him out. Keep them out. That's right. Thank God when they try to invade that territory. Remember what Brother Jude have declared. Back in Jude 1, and I'm at verse 3. Holy Ghost gave us all something certainly good. Oh, yes. What is it? Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, yes. it was needful for me to write unto you. It was necessary. And exhort for you. For me 
to write unto you and exhort you, fill you up, that ye should earnestly contend for this earnest. faith. You want to earnestly contend for this faith. You yeah. want to be sound in it. Oh yes. Until you can be exposed to any trash doctrine out here. That's right. And you're not phased. That's right. If you're not sound in holiness, you leave everything else alone. You get this in you. Get this. You get this in you. Learn it. That's right. Because I guarantee when we start associating ourselves with people, you start believing lies, they make you start asking questions about the lies they believe that you ain't never asked. That's right. Then I got this exhausting job to undo the ignorance that your friend done to you. That's right. Be it man or woman. Know how to tell him or her. I don't want to hear it. That's right. I don't want to hear it. Well, I thought we were a brother. We ain't that close that I got to hear your foolishness. I don't want to hear it. That's right. Well, I think I don't want what you think. No. I heard what God thought first. That's right. That's right. Well, why you got to put the Bible in everything? Why not? Got to be full of hell to even make such a statement. Yeah. For a child of God who wants the Bible in everything. Oh, yeah. All of our ways is in the book. That's right. That's right. Jude 1 and 1 says, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Are you sanctified? Sanctified. Are you set apart for the Lord and the Lord only? That's right. Get me. Sanctified. Sanctified. And preserved. And preserved in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and called. What? And called. And called. Mercy. You want to be preserved, be preserved and kept. That's right. Sanctified That's right. by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. Don't be afraid. Not to be like the world. That's right. You sisters, don't be afraid because you're at the job with your head covered. Muslim, Muslim women do it. You don't find a Muslim woman ashamed at all. No. A Muslim woman will have her head covered, her body, all that stuff covered with no shame. So-called holy sanctified folk have on something so small, it don't even cover their head. It's like a little offering plate on their head. That's so right. worrying about their hair getting all messed up. What is that? What is that? What is that? Bible said if a woman pray or prophesy having her head uncovered, uncovered she dishonor her head. cares what the job thinks. They don't bother the Muslim. They don't bother the Jew either. No, they don't. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me. Whosoever shall be ashamed uh, of me. Listen at the book of Luke. St. Luke chapter 9 and verse 26. For whosoever shall whosoever, be ashamed of me. Jesus talked. Shall be ashamed of me. And of my words. And of what I teach. Of him shall the son of, of man be him. ashamed. Shall the Son of Man be ashamed, be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his Father's? When Jesus come back and with that glorified body, that's right. the glory that he put on, that the Spirit put on him the day he rose, right. and he come on back, you, he going to get you back from being ashamed of him. Yeah. That's right. Family come to your house, you know you don't smoke. Don't be ashamed to tell them that you know we don't smoke here. That's right. And don't tell him, go outside, and he go outside on your steps. Tell him, no, don't even smoke on my property. Don't smoke on my property That's at right. all. I don't care if you're having a fit. <laughs> don't smoke on my property at all. That's right. We become ashamed. ashamed. Become the family members. That's when they say, 
Well, I don't want them to think I'm crazy. Give me the New Testament and see who we're fool for. Right. That's right. That's when they don't, they, they, when you tell them and stand up for God. That's the problem for a lot of us today. We scared. We cowards. That's right. Church going cowards. First yeah. Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. Yeah, stand up and argue over everything else. That's true. But for God, they won't even open their mouth. That's true. You coward. Cowards. Get me. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. That's what? We are fools for Christ's sake. We are fools for Christ's sake. And? But ye are wise in Christ. We are weak. We are weak. But ye are strong. But we are strong. Ye are honorable. But we are despised. You see, when people see us taking this stand, they think we're foolish. Right. Tell your mother or your father or sister, brother, listen, you no smoking here. Well, I go outside. Okay, you got to go down there. Down, down you going, don't you ain't not, not in front of my house? Because every time people come here, they know we don't smoke. That's right. Have you noticed we ain't got no ashtray? That's right. And I ain't going to have an ashtray for you <laughs> because I know you coming over here. I'm going to give you an ashtray. No ashtrays. No ashtray, none, none of it. No beer, no whiskey. That's right. You don't even want to buy a drink from a store that have the look of a bottle of beer or the look of a bottle of wine. Don't Abs even buy it. Abstain from all appearance. Wait a minute. Let's get Bible. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 22. Abstain. Abstain from all appearance. From the look of evil. If it look like a beer bottle, don't buy it. If it look like a liquor bottle, don't buy it. I don't care if it's sparkling apple juice. The Bible says. Abstain from all abstain appearance of evil. From all, all appearance, appearance of evil. If it even look wrong, don't buy it. Well, I know I don't drink. I don't care nothing about what you don't know, you hypocrite. God brought law. God made a law. Abstain from. That's a commandment. That's right. Abstain from all Stay away. of evil. If it look wrong, don't do it. Mm. If two sisters in the public walking arms on each other, don't even do it. You look gay. That's right. I don't care how close friends you are. Don't do it because of the look. That's right. Preaching. You know, when I went to Africa, I didn't know how common it was for men to hold hands. I don't, not gay either. You know, when I went to different parts of the world, it broadened my understanding of things. But even when I'm in Africa, when I saw that, how common it was, I had to preach the same thing. Because we're living in a society now where they right away, you gay. Right. So the Bible says, abstain from all appearance. Of evil. Don't even wear something in public that make you look like a hooker. That's right. Don't even wear nothing that make you look. The Bible is talking here. Abstain. The Bible from, is talking. That's right. Abstain from all appearance. How much? All appearance of evil. All appearance. You're not no hog. Get the ankle chain off. That's right. That's the appearance of evil. Appearance of evil. Get rid of all that fake care from Walgreens, Amazon, and CVS. Get rid of it. Wearing hair to match your clothes. Burgundy dress, burgundy hair. That's right. Green clothes, green hair. Blue shoes, blue hair. Yeah. Your hair become an accent piece. What's wrong with the way God made you? Like Dr. Seuss. Amen. What? Abstain from all appearance of evil. Keep your color of your suits modest. That's right. Don't need no blood red suit brothers. <laughs> like you a backup singing group. <laughs> Am I right? I 
I said. That's right. What? Abstain from all appearance. If you got of glasses, evil. just glasses. You don't need glasses with big old diamonds on them like you Bootsy Barnes. <laughs> That's right. You don't need no watch, all diamond face, all I that know. bling bling. All you need is a watch that tell time. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? Abstain from all appearance of evil. All appearance. So think twice now when you go shopping and when you go out to the store. That's right. Amen. This is all Bible here. Bible. Don't go ask me no questions after service. This is self-explanatory. Abstain from all appearance of evil. If it look wrong. That's one of you ain't no thug, don't have no artificial dice hanging from the mirror in your car. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You ain't no loose man, don't have no plastic testicles on the back of your pickup truck. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Abstain. From all appearance of evil. Hallelujah. Are you here? Oh, yes. Don't you be riding through the neighborhood blasting your radio loud. I don't care if it's the message of preaching. That's right. Do all things decency and in order. Turn your radio down. That way you can hear when the cops pull you over. You just driving. Them lights going, woo, woo. And you like, you supposed to be in some spirit. <laughs> and the moment he catch up with you, pull over. <laughs> you gonna be like, stop, stop, Some <laughs> tongues stop. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Don't even bring a bottle in your house that look like a champagne bottle. Or look like some old dark beer bottle. Get that look of trash out of your house. Amen. The Bible says, abstain from all appearance all the look of evil. Now sit still and be hard-headed and go to hell. That's right. You will understand when you stand before God that the messages of holiness exceed any message on the planet Earth. That's right. God's standard is high. Oh, yeah. All right, Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Rich men. Amen. You Baptists and Methodists and Presbyterian and Lutheran and non-denominational and Pentecostals and Apostolics and all this other stuff you claim you've been going to church in, looking at your manicured nail Jerry Curl out of date head reverend, <laughs> screaming and hollering with his hands over his ears like he got bronchitis. Get ready to come back to the Bible and obey what the Bible says do. That's right. Then Peter in Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You know what? Repent and be baptized, every one of you. He didn't say bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. No. He didn't say this is the hour of decision. <laughs> no. He didn't say pray or send us prayer. That's right. The Bible ain't never taught none of that. Church organization have taught it. That's right. And many of you fellas in the pulpit, Leading congregations, baptized wrong yourself. Amen. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and you thought you obeyed Jesus. Jesus ain't never said baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said baptized in the name of That's it. the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a husband. But if I tell you to do something in my name, you're not going to say Father, Son, and Husband. You're going to call my name Jennings. That's right. All of you that got baptized and the preacher just said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're baptized wrong. That's right. You're not baptized. You're just wet. That's it. Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled in Acts 2, 38. 30. Somebody said, I'd rather obey Jesus than obey the apostles. You fool, you cannot obey Jesus unless you obey the apostles. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. Listen at the Bible, give chapter and verse again. St. Luke chapter 10 and we're at verse 16. We're going to make it rain with Bible. That's right. That way you can stop going to the club looking at some old woman twerk and you make it rain and come home broke. Amen. We're going to make it rain with Bible now. 
St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. What is it? He that heareth you. Look at Jesus talking to his apostles. That's right. He that hear you. Heareth me. He hears me. And he that despiseth you. He that despiseth you. Despiseth me. He despise me. And he that despiseth me. He that despiseth me. Despiseth him that sent me. And the one that sent him was the spirit that sent that body into the world. That's right. That's right. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You hear this? Amen. God wants you to repent. Be sorry about your sins, Mr. Sinner. Mr. Sinner, you cigarette suckers and pipe suckers, and joint suckers and crack takers. You got your second wife and third husband living together, not married. You know, shacking up. That's right. You're in the bar. You're in the club. You was there all last week. All that cigarette smoke all in your system. And you took a pack of lightsabers, chickle, chickling gum, and everything else. <laughs> so nobody would smell it. Tit tat, lightsabers, peppermints, everything. Everything. Get yourself right with God. God didn't make your mouth to suck cigarettes. That's right. God didn't make you to get drunk, brother and sister. God didn't make you for that. No. God made you for Him. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for what? For the remission of sins. Get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He'll fill you with the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be right? Bible right. And don't want to go to hell. Don't want the Lord to send them to hell for being disobedient. You want to be baptized the right way. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet if you want it. <laughs> Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. Amen. 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 There's only one plan of salvation. I don't have several ways. For you to be saved, not God. That's right. One way. And that way is plainly documented in God's everlasting word. All right, our time is gone. Next session begin at 5 o'clock. We will conclude here in Richmond. It's been a beautiful service. Amen. Amen. God Almighty gave us all good information. Now you decide what to do with it. Accept it and be saved or reject it. And you know where you're going. You're going south. You're going south. I don't mean Florida either. <laughs> That's right. Let us all stand. Yeah. Elder Fletcher will close us out in prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you as a sovereign. Thank you for all that has transpired this day. We thank you for your word, for the power of your grace. Lord, keep the word of God in us. Bless us to obey the word of God. Walk uprightly before you and furnish you with a pure and honest heart. As some have to depart, be leading God in the safety of their dangerous harvests. Bless those who are on their bed of affliction that you'll touch upon the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Lord, remember each and every one of us this evening. Prick us to our hearts that we'll do the things that are pleasing and acceptable in our sight. We give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. Bless each and every one. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Let all the saints say amen.